Assalamu alaikum. I'm Sajid and you're watching my YouTube channel. Right. In this video, today we will study JavaScript objects. So this topic again is uh, very important as in our last video we studied functions and uh, these and the functions uh, the topic was also very critical and important concept had very important concepts and in this video again javascript objects this is another important concept and today's video is going to be very important so completely watch it and try to understand all concepts if you have any question query you can ask me in question section or comment section okay so uh, in real life let's look at first uh, what are objects in real life I mean before we go to objects in JavaScript let's look what are objects in real life for example uh, real life objects are things that have properties and methods how for example we take a car as an example car is an object right this is car this car is an object and it has certain properties like weight color model and name and it can have more properties so these are the properties of a car and then there are different methods associated with it like we can start the car we can drive the car we can break the car and we can stop the car so these are methods so all cars have same properties right but the property values differ from car to car like the brand name can be fiat or it can be toyota or any other similarly the model different more cars have different models different weight and different color or some cars can have same color or same weight but they can have different models so it depends similarly all cars have same methods but methods are performed at different times right so this is an example of a real time life object and you understand uh, what you need to understand here is that every object has some properties and methods and different objects can of same type even have different properties right so now let's look at what are javascript objects so we have already learned that javascript uh, variables are containers for data values right so all variables they store some data values this is a very simple thing and the code assigns this code with this example here assign the simple value fiat to a variable named car so we define a variable with the statement let car and assign this sent, uh, text uh, value fiat to this car right so objects are actually variables too uh, in javascript objects are also variables but objects can contain many values so here this variable car contains only one uh, value but objects are variables which contain many values so this statement is very important i would recommend you to memorize this right this code assigns this code means this statement below assigns many values like fiat 500 and white to a variable named car so when we am writing this statement constant const car is equal to and this I have cur uh, curly bracket type fiat model 500 color white so this means I'm assigning all these values to this variable car okay and the variables the values are written as name value pairs here name and value separated by a column okay here we can see if I, when I'm saying type there is a column in the middle and these are name value pairs similarly model color these are different you can say very values and which are stored in this variable const right 
so it is a common practice to declare objects with the const keyword this I believe we have learned before so if not you can refer to const uh, JavaScript over const uh, uh, video tutorial right and then we have object definition how we define define objects in JavaScript so we define as with this statement in uh, I mean we define uh, and or create a JavaScript object with an object literal and this literal is like this we have const person is equal to curly bracket and name value pairs so this is how we define uh, an object in JavaScript and these spaces and line breaks are not important it's not important to write everything in a straight line in general we can write an object like this const person is equal to then we can have name value pairs um, uh, in sort of a column and then we are closing this uh, object with the curly bracket and a semicolon right so this is our object so let's look at the code here okay so here we have this is an object cause person first name so, so John Doe last name age 50 eye color blue and then what we are doing we are displaying some data from this uh, uh, object we are saying document dot get element element by, element by id demo dot inner html is equal to person dot first name plus is person dot age plus years right so person dot first name persons you know is an object with these uh, properties and we are here uh, referring to the property first name of this object person so when we say person dot first name it means we are referring to John okay is is a uh, you can say some text here and plus person dot age refers to this age 50 and years old is uh, some other text here they are all concatenated and we have the final result John is 50 years old so this is how an object is defined in or created in JavaScript and we access properties with the help of name uh, of the property with this dot notation and this object returns us the value of that property and here we have demonstrated it with this example right if I change this to maybe 100 or maybe right and see if I refresh the page see here John is 100 years old right so have you seen that it works properly okay so the name value pair in JavaScript objects are called properties and property name and then property value how we access object properties we just seen we access the object property with the object name dot property name or we can use this square bracket as well square bracket and then in it we uh, provide this property name and then value is a return right so this thing we have just seen same example uh, we have this uh, similar example where we are uh, making an object uh, first name last name and ID and then we are referring to his first name and last name in example 2 we are referring to uh, first name property with the help of a square bracket and we are giving the first name property uh, with uh, double quotes around it okay right so let's look at uh, javascript objects or containers for named values called properties we have learned this concept next look at object methods by now we have seen object properties now let's see object methods objects 
can also have methods okay so object methods can have uh, objects can have methods as well as we just seen before objects have properties and now we will look at the methods so uh, methods are actions that can be performed on objects and methods are stored in properties as function definitions so in our last video we have seen functions in detail and here the same concept it's repeating actually the methods are stored in properties as function definition okay so actually a method is a function stored in a property so this is another concept keep remember this a method is always a function stored as a property okay see here the example here we have uh, this uh, object and you are familiar with the top three line first name last name and id where we have this key value pairs of properties and then this property full name is something new as you can see after colon we have the function keyword and then we have this curly bracket and then we have the return type and this dot first name and this dot last name so this function has a return type it will return concatenated first name and last name we have studied return type in our last video about java script functions so one thing is new here uh, this keyword this in this example this refers to the person object actually so when we say this dot first name it means the first name property of this object which is person okay so this dot first name means the first name property of this and this dot first name means the first name property of person okay so this is not a variable this this keyword is not a variable it's a keyword you cannot change the value of this keep remember this okay so next we have if in a function so as you can see we have a function here and inside this function we are using this keyword and in this function definition this refers to the owner of the function and in the example above this is the person object that owns the full name function so in other words this dot first name means the first name property of this object which is person object okay so this can be a little confusing but if you uh, listen to these statements again and read them carefully you will understand the concept okay next we have accessing object methods before we have seen how to access uh, object properties similarly how to access object methods that is done by object name dot method name with this uh, round brackets and here we have example person dot full name so here we have uh, our object for person and uh, it has first name last name and id properties full name function uh, or method and we are calling this method here person dot full name and the return type is assigned to this uh, p tag which has id demo and this is the result john doe okay so if i change john with uh, maybe walker okay and run the code again see walker doe okay this is how it works so we have executed the method inside an object with this dot notation next we have uh, we have seen this example and similarly if we access a method without this um, uh, round brackets it will return function definition see here here we have this called person dot full name and on the right side you can see we have the function return this first name and last name okay so it will return the function definition right 
and to wrap up our video uh, so uh, let's look at some more important concept do not declare string numbers and booleans as objects right when a javascript variable is declared with the keyword new the variable is created as an object right so keep remember this is another new concept for you so when we say x is equal to new string we are declaring a new object and uh, which is of type string here new number is a uh, declares y as a number object and new boolean declares z as a boolean object so avoid string numbers uh, and boolean objects they complicate your code and slow down execution speed okay so whenever you have to define a number or a string in an object define them without this new keyword okay so i'll wrap up my video here this video was interesting you learned a lot of new concepts and the concept was about javascript objects and javascript objects have uh, properties and uh, methods and we can access those properties and methods properties are in the form of key value pairs and the methods are actually the functions inside the object which can be called uh, from outside similarly we can access the key value pairs i mean the values of the certain parameters okay our properties so that's right so i'll be back uh, with another video soon for now i will be saying goodbye yeah if you have any question you can ask in the comment section if you like the video please uh, share it with others and uh, follow my channel or subscribe my channel i'll be back take care bye bye and allah hafiz